These are the perspectives of anthropology, sociology, and political science. In anthropology, we have four main perspectives, the physical or biological perspective, archaeological, cultural, and linguistic perspectives, which were previously discussed. We also have three major perspectives under sociology. First, it's the functionalist perspective, which was popularized by Emil Durkheim. This perspective views society as a complex whole composed of groups working together to achieve stability. Society is composed of social institutions such as the church, economy, government, school, and family. Another perspective of sociology is the conflict perspective. It views society as composed of groups that compete for limited resources like food, money, and power. This often results to strife in conflict between groups of people. Third is the symbolic perspective which was popularized by Max Weber. Tinitingnan nito ang lipunan na binubuo ng mga taong patuloy na nakikipag-ugnayan sa isa't isa sa pamamagitan ng mga simbolo. In political science, some of the perspectives listed are politics, government, and human behavior. Why politics? Because in today's situation, politics has become a hot issue in terms of leadership which in turn affects social order and development. Government perspectives aim to study the forms of government, like why democracy is considered as the best form of government. Human behavior is another perspective in political science. People behave according to the type of leader, laws formulated, and actions being taken by the authorities. That ends our video lesson for Module 1 of Understanding Culture, Society, and Politics. May I leave you with this quote from Benjamin Franklin, An investment of knowledge always pays the best interest. Good day everyone!